Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, we have more Nurgle leaks as well as some breakdown of official information we've gotten from Games Workshop. And I just need to apologize that I've been a little behind on this information. I know it's come out in a few other sources already. Um, I actually just had surgery the other day, so I've been a little out of commission. So just doing the best I can here. First up, we've got the new Glotkin War Scroll. Our big changes to this you'll notice that our it doesn't look like there's a damage chart for any of these abilities or attacks our movement is now five inches uh where it was on a damage table before wounds are up to 20 from 18 bravery still nine save still four plus the shooting attack um has changed quite a bit it used to be one attack fours and threes i believe might have been threes and fours uh, minus two, two D six. Um, now we've got seven attacks, threes and threes, minus two, one damage. So I think the average number of damage that you get is actually going to be higher with this, but you're going to be consistently getting a little bit as opposed to once in a while getting a ton. Our other attacks, we've got one at three inches, four attacks, threes and twos, minus two, three damage. I believe that would be the big old tentacle. Then we've got three attacks, threes and twos, minus two, three damage. I believe that would be Otto's side. And then four attacks, threes and twos, minus one, D3 damage for our final attack. So this looks pretty strong this is definitely going to be a strong combat war scroll depending on what the points on this look like so i like it it's interesting it's definitely an upgrade from old glotkin but of course it's going to you know it's going to be points dependent for sure on how good this actually is up next we got a picture of the table of contents from the nurgle battle tome and without going into too much detail on this, I've checked, I've cross-checked the uh, War Scrolls, and what we've got here is all of the same War Scrolls as were in the previous Battle Tome, with the exception of adding Fecula Flyblown and the Worm Spat, which were released after the last Battle Tome. So our list is the same, basically, as it was before. No new war scrolls being added and no uh war scrolls getting dropped from the last battle tome so you know there were some rumors that i saw people thinking that you know some of the fine cast models might get cut but that is not the case and finally now we have the officially released information and just some of my thoughts on this of this is just confirmation of how the disease mechanics work so you get one disease point for each enemy unit within three inches of any friendly maggotkin of nurgle unit so that's not going to include coalition a unit can have a maximum of seven disease points at any one time um and this is at the start of every movement phase and every combat phase um all enemy models within three inches of friendly maggot can and then at the start of each battle phase you are battle shock phase rather you uh roll a d6 for each disease point on a unit every four up is a mortal wound and then at the end of the battle shock phase reduce the number of disease counters to one so i, I think the reduction to one is definitely a bit of kick in, a bit of a kick in the teeth i think that um I would have liked to see that not there and just you know any four ups that you don't make just stay on as disease counters and they would slowly wither away um but this makes it like strictly worse than you know sixes to hit do mortals i think and then of course our sixes to hit as well uh inflict one additional disease so all of this is all about friendly maggot kin of nurgle units so this is not coalition this is not allies if you simply have the nurgle keyword it is not giving you these abilities so they're 
allegiance ability here is clearly making a distinction between the Nurgle stuff in this book, which presumably is all going to have the mega kin of Nurgle keyword, and everything else that has the Nurgle keyword outside of this battle tome. In addition, it doesn't look like there is any restriction on this as to the keywords of enemy units that um, could be getting affected by this. So in the previous battle tome, there were a lot of mechanics that simply didn't work on other Nurgle units that you were enemy controlled. And now it looks like we're, at least in this ability, not going to have that restriction. So I really like that a lot. It uh, makes the Nurgle mirror match less of a pain. Um, I, uh, I like it. So this is what we've got so far up to date here. Uh, we just got a little release from Games Workshop today, just on the Path to Glory rules that we're getting for uh, Maggotkin. Not really anything too exciting there. I know not a lot of people even play Path to Glory. And, you know, honestly... Like, I play Path to Glory, and I don't really care that much about what the individual rules, like, and buffs and stuff for Path to Glory there are for individual sub-factions. I think it, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. It makes your Path to Glory a little bit more fluffy and fun, um, more customized to your army, but it, you know, it, it's not groundbreaking. You can play without those rules and be just fine. So... That is it for now, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be back with any more leaks and uh, reveals from Games Workshop that we get. And for now, that is all. I'll talk to you all, you all guys later.